Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the final round of Wizard 101 Stitch Off. The first season of Wizard 101 Stitch Off, we had around 50 amazing stitches submitted, which is absolutely awesome. I appreciate each and every last one of you guys for submitting a stitch. And if you didn't, don't forget to submit a stitch for season two of Wizard 101 Stitch Off. It will be amazing. Out of the 50 total stitches, I chose my favorite three to move to the final round where you guys will vote and pick the ones you liked the most. The three awesome finalists are Morgan, Abigail, and Garrett. Each and every last one of these stitches looked awesome to me, and I'm excited for them to move to the final round. To explain further why I chose these three stitches to move to the final round, let's first start with Morgan. This stitch was super cool to me for three main reasons. First of all, I like the theme of the stitch. It gave me a sort of medieval commander with a little bit of correlation. You know what I mean? It, it, gave, it gave off those type of oldish warrior type of vibes you know i really like the correlation between the wand boots and the robe especially the stitch also has some really good looking gear in it for example the robe and the boots are some of my favorite items in the entire game when it comes down to the stitchable gear if that if that if that makes any sense and when it came down to the wand i've never even seen this wand before i had to actually ask a person like hey man where did you get this wand you know and it put the icing on the cake i really like the color scheme that they went with with the light blue and the white uh you you really don't see light blue and right a lot in wizard 101 unless you're an ice wizard of course uh with the color scheme the unique gear and the stitch theme i think i'd rate this gear a solid 8 out of 10. there are some downsides to this stitch in my opinion those being i believe a different hat could have been used um using hair for your hat isn't bad but it 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 it, it, it sends it over the top when you actually use a helmet instead of using hair when it comes to your stitch in my opinion at least i also feel like maybe the boost in the robe could have been used here a, a different boots in a robe the boots work with the stitch the robe works with the stitch but i don't think the robe and the boots both work together in correlation um they they work against each other but they're both pretty good but i think you can maybe find a different robe and boots that could work together that can also work with the overall stitch and give it a solid 10 out of 10 at the end of the day even though i still think the core part of the stitch is there and i can see what you're trying to go with it and i like it i really i really really do i like the theme i like the colors i like the gear everything is good you just need to polish it up a little bit um to give it that 10 out of 10 rating next let's take a look at abigail this this was also really really cool to me because the whole color scheme and the theme in general is really hard to pull off making a stitch with the colors blue and yellow is extremely difficult but it seems that abigail has done it for the boots in the robe to the hat even making sure her face has yellow stars with blue eyes the color scheme is everywhere and it absolutely works i also love the fact that the majority of the gear is busy gear meaning it has a lot of detail in the gear usually gear that has a lot of detail is hard to make a stitch with unless you're using set gear of course uh for abigail i'm rating her a nice nine out of ten i love the stitch but i do feel like it could be a tad a teeny a teeny weeny bit better i feel like everything works in a solid however i feel like you may be able to find a better hat that meshes better with your robe and your boots your robe and your boots pop and they're busy but your hat is kind of dull and on the less busier side, if that makes any sense. Uh, it works, of course, but it's like a group of three friends rocking around. Everybody is six feet, but your hat is like that little five foot friend that just stands out uh, compared to everybody else. That's literally the exact same height that's tall and everything. It, it just seems like your hat's a little bit lacking behind. Um, another thing is that the wand, which I think looks awesome. And the color scheme with the wand is absolutely perfect. But when it comes down to the type of gear that you're using, I feel like a wand might be better to use than a sword. I don't know if there's a wand out there that can match with your stitch or not, but if there is, I would definitely go for it. I feel like a wand will look better than a sword when it comes to your stitch. But the sword that you use, the color scheme behind it, everything about it looks dope. It's just that it's a sword and not a wand. With that being said, your stitch is still pretty good and I like it a lot. And that's why I put you in the finalist list. I'm rating you a nine out of 10, really good job. I like it, I like it, I like it. It could be better but I do like it. And for the last contestant, we have my friend Garrett, who is a life wizard. This stitch is awesome, and I love the color scheme of the teal slash dark blue and white, and that robe is absolutely amazing. I'm getting a very piratey theme from this stitch, and it's super, like a super pirate, magical wizard type person or something like that. Um, but yeah, I really like this robe, and I feel like everything flows well and correlates and matches with the base of the stitch, and I believe it is super duper dope. I am rating the stitch 
which a nice 9 out of 10. There's something I believe could improve. For example, uh, the robe is such high detail. What boots and the hat are it's the same thing as the other stitch. Your robe is, is busy. It's a lot of detail, but your boots and your robe, I mean, your boots and your hat don't really correlate with the robe in the sense of how much detail is in the actual gear. I don't know if this is something fixable, to be honest. I'm not sure if there's a hat or a boots that will go with your robe that is still busy and you can still rock that color scheme with it. If that is possible and you know some gear like that, I would definitely switch it up. Um, but I do like the way that your boots and your hat do correlate with the overall color scheme. I, I think it looks dope. It's just the amount of detail that the, the boots and the hat have if you're comparing them to the robe and the robe kind of just has more detail than the boots and the hat does. Either way, I think the base premise behind the stitch that you chose is actually really, really good. I like the color scheme and uh, I, I like the gear that you use. They look cool. I, I think there should, could be some improvements, of course, but um, overall, definitely a good stitch. Well, there you have it, folks. There's your last three finalists for the first season of Wizard 101 Stitch Off. If you guys want to vote for these guys, it'll be on pretty much all social medias. It's going to be a voting system inside of the Discord. This is going to be a voting system on Twitter, probably uh, YouTube, probably Reddit. Um, and then we're just going to combine all the platforms together, see who got the most vote across all of the board. And that's how we're going to choose first, second place for the prizes. The links to the voting system will be down in the description if you guys want to check that out make sure you do so um and let's also thank wizard 101 since they're the people that's sponsoring this event thank you wizard 101 for the sponsor you are absolutely amazing and thank you for letting this happen i'm looking forward to a second season and if any other communities or individuals would like to participate in stitch off as judges or just want to support uh like wizard 101 did feel free to contact me you know where to find me i'm literally everywhere the voting period will start on december 4th uh, and it will end on December 11th. So make sure you guys don't miss that. Make sure you guys vote. Um, and let me know what your favorite stitch is in the comments. That won't count towards a vote, but you know, I like to, I like to have conversations with people. You know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think about the stitches in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Good luck to all the contestants. And thank you for watching.